Okay, hello and welcome back. So, a bit of a problem we have to deal with is Orin has just landed on our shores. And we're going to kick things off by immediately going for visions and seeing exactly what we're up against. So it is just one crystal dragon, which is really good news. Uh, and it's also not 250 grand elves, which would have been really bad because Orin, of course, archery specialist, extremely dangerous, um, and also pretty high level. So those grand elves could be kind of dangerous. Actually, I'm probably, if anything, quite worried about the unicorns. But he's just kind of generally strong. He's obviously got stronger units than Eovacious. So first thing we need to do is to try and get as many good units to Eovacious as possible. And I have been thinking about this, and I think even though it's very tempting to go back to the town and to kind of take advantage of the, uh, of the keep and the towers and things, that does open up the obvious risk that because we have opened this up, he could just go south instead and attack our rampart base, and there's pretty much no way we could hold him off if he did that. So I think the best thing to do is just to attack him directly as soon as we can. Um, but I think we do have enough movement points to go over to the town and then come back. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to Galthran, and we're going to just quickly pass this across, because, of course, Solmir now has the Pendant of Courage for plus three luck, so we really don't want the the lack of positive luck um, to be a thing. So Galthron has that artifact, he's going to keep the rest of his artifacts because I think we don't really need them, although I guess we should probably pass over the Armor of Wonder. But yeah, I think Solmir is good as he is. He does have a few extra units he can bring across, but I think before we decide what to do with those, let's just go through to Blight with Galthron. And let's go into the town. We're going to send Coronius out. And Coronius is just going to go to this, to try and get four extra vampires. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this, but I think this should work. Okay, so not quite enough moving points, but Eovacious should be able to do this. So Coronius learns a number of spells, and I don't think passed any across. Anyway, we're going to bring these together. We're going to take the vampires and, I guess, take the Walking Dead too. Could pass over the Necklace of Swiftness, but let's not do it with him. Uh, let's go across to this, let's have these two meet. I was thinking we could pass the Necklace of Swiftness to Galthran, but of course it doesn't really make sense, because I'm the Undertaker. Probably better. So, let's swap these instead. What else could we go for? Talisman of Mana doesn't help us too much. Demon's Horseshoe, I think we should go for. Sphere of Permanence, I think we don't. Equestrian's Gloves, I think we should take. But we're not going to pass this back because we might still want this for battles. And in particular, we should have it for the next battle. Outside of that, I think this is fine. Could be useful to have the Talisman of Mana, but no, I think it's fine. Okay, so going back to the town, we're going to buy as many units as possible. So it's 50,000 to get everything, which is, I think, not everything. Uh, because, yeah. That's all the money we have, so we need to get some more money first. So we're going to go to Andor, and we're just going to go and pick this up. Pick up a thousand gold, start coming back. Similar thing with Torosar. Torosar does have the enchanter that I forgot to pass over. Okay, so that's about as much gold as we can get from those two. But if we go across to Cassiopeia, we can go to this, we can go to this, and we can pick up some gold. And we can still make it back to the town. So we're going to tuck ourselves in there. Rion, I think, probably can't really do too much. Warehouse of Wood if you want to do some trading, but I don't think I do. I guess we just go west because there's not really too much else for him to do. Okay, so with all that done, we're now going to go back into this town. We have 52,000 we can spend, so let's focus on the units we need the most. So we're going to upgrade these. Going to buy all the rest. Buy the Ghost Dragons, buy the Dread Knights, Power Liches. That still leaves us with 7,000. In terms of which units we should bring, definitely the Dread Knights. Definitely the Ghost Dragons. And the Power Liches. And the Vampire Lords. I think 4 Master Genies probably better than 34 Wraiths. But there is one more thing we can do, which is we can go for Mage Guild level 4. Obviously it does make sense. 
So Mage Guild level 4 does get us Resurrection, which is really nice. Water Walk we already have. Uh, we also have Animate Dead. So all very useful. But I think this is probably about as good as we can do. So we probably just go for the attack. Yeah. I suppose one more thing we could do is we could move these Ghost Dragons towards the top. And that's purely so if we want to, we can send them both into attack the Grand Elves at once. Outside of that, I guess Power Lich is at the bottom. Next to Vampire Lords. Something like this. Let's see how it goes. So victory is expected, not too surprising because we did get a very convenient bumper of units, but of course this does not take into account spellcasting. Uh, so the first choice to make is do we go straight forward, in which case we would be in range of Unicorns, Dendroid Soldiers, Pegasi 2. So I think we don't because it is just 110, probably better off hanging back. Could go for something like slow, but Earth Elemental also very tempting. Crystal Dragons can reach the Power Liches pretty easily. Could also maybe go for Clone. So Crystal Dragons can reach us, Green Dragons can't, nothing else can. So I think we don't go for slow just now. I think we hold our spell casting in reserve. Okay, so they go for slow on us. Lose a couple of Liches, which we can potentially bring back at the end of the fight. In terms of which stack should take the retail, I'm not entirely sure. Probably the Nyx. Yeah, we could send the Nyx in. Although, our other stacks might be strong enough to just get the kill immediately. These guys haven't moved yet, but they can't reach us. I think we go for this. So they do 21 damage back, that is of course the big thing that Nyx Warriors do, they ignore most of that attack skill. We can actually kill them off, using the Liches, but let's wait for these to come across first. They do actually get morale, so we lose a couple of Nyx Warriors. Might try and resurrect those. Okay, so we go for the attack, we kill these off, Green Dragons can't get across, then we have to choose what to attack next, so 3-6 to six kills with the Dread Knights. That seems pretty good. Teleport on option 2. But doesn't really help us. Other choices. Elementals. Could probably attack the Unicorns. If we went for Clone. I think this stack's probably our strongest. I'm gonna try that. Ah. Okay, that's not good. That's really bad for Evacious in particular. It rules out Animate Dead. Rules out Resurrection. Rules out Clone. Rules out Teleport. Yeah, really bad situation actually. Uh, Bless is not going to help us. So we can still go for something like Slow. But that means our losses to the Nyx Warriors are now permanent. Which is really bad because they're kind of our go-to stack. But we need to be very careful not to take losses. So with no option of bringing in Earth Elementals, I guess we just kind of have to go for Slow. Or Shield. So 30% reduced damage. Maybe that's a good option, however... We could probably go for a hit and run on the Grand Elves. I think we slow. So we slow those, we send these down, go for the attack. Okay, so we take some damage back. These guys are completely free to attack whoever they choose. These can't reach anyone. So let's go for the Pegasi. Do get lucky, so we kill most of them off. These guys can't really do too much. They can kill off the rest of the Pegasi, so let's go for that. Then these can go for a hit and run. We do get morale. So we've killed most of those off. There's still quite a few left. Do have the option of Magic Arrow. Now ah, that really sucks. Like, to lose the, uh, the Nyx Warriors. They have been our power stack for a long time. But there's not really too much we can do. I think... I think we do come back, because taking a hit from 43 Dendroid Soldiers is not going to be nice. Then I think we wait. 
see what they do. I think the main risk is whatever spells they go for. These guys are going to defend. And these will go for this attack. Okay, so they go for slow, and they're very weakened. Start coming towards us, but pretty sure it's too late. We can still reach them even with the slow. These guys still have all their hit points. Okay, rest of our stacks are good just to wait. These guys can of course go in. Pretty much no risk. Okay, so he flees, so we've permanently lost 17 Power Liches and 2 Nyx. Which kind of sucks, but I think for the sake of dealing with such a massive threat, that's probably okay. Uh, Evacious does have enough moving points to get onto the boat. If we got onto the boat, we could go to the yellow portal. I think that makes sense. I'm not sure where exactly we go, but I think we should stay aggressive. One option is to go to green. Not this green hero, but... To Greenslands in the southeast because we know that we've taken out Kismitra. So there shouldn't be too much to defend. But what I do want to do, and this is maybe slightly questionable, but I really want to do it, is I want to bring Galthran out and I want to take I want to take all those Necropolis units and just have a full Necropolis force. So I'm keeping the Knicks, I'm keeping the Angels, but the rest of this stuff I'm just gonna pass back. Split the genies. And yeah, I think that's fine. I did forget to equip my uh, Ring of Vitality, but wouldn't have made any difference, so it's fine. Alright, so Galthran could also go very aggressive. He himself could get into the boat instead, then go through the yellow portals, one of which takes us to here. This, I think, is a cove town. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's got to be a cove town. I guess it makes more sense for Eurovacious to go there. So Eovacious will take the boat, although before we do... Scuttle boat but no summon boat. What about this guy? This guy does have summon boat. Okay, so Eovacious boards this. I think this is probably okay. It's a little bit risky because we're losing all our defenders. But we're gonna try it. There we go, we do successfully summon. We're gonna board the ships. So it's gonna be a very aggressive turn next turn, but hopefully worth doing. Andor's gonna go back in this direction. And Solmere does have a bit of a choice. Could also go quite aggressive. We do want to take him back to the Rampart Town. That was the plan. It's going to help us deal with Darkstone, and it's going to help us deal with Arlac. So I think we probably just go straight back to that, although we could stay in this area just to see what else we could do. Or we could get in the yellow portals. Go pretty much anywhere we choose. But no, we need someone around to defend. So let's just jump through. Let's go to Elfwind. Uh, let's send Jeremy out, I guess. So Jeremy just wants fast units. A lot of this stuff is pretty useless on Solmay. We do need to pass that back, I think. So Galthran does have some pretty bad units, but we can probably upgrade those next turn. That's probably fine. 6,000 left to spend. We do want to keep upgrading this base. So let's go for Citadel. Seems a bit... Not that useful in this particular turn. Uh, let's go for... Griffin Tower doesn't cost us any wood. Wood does tend to be pretty important, so let's go for that. Torosar. Move towards this. With Jeremy, we're going to take the castle units. Take the undead. Leave behind the rampart units. And... Yeah, I think that should be fine. We're going to keep the Diamond Golems and Solmir because they are a pretty decent stack and also very good at taking Chain Lightning. And we probably don't need the, the Silver Pegasi. I will take one just in case. Okay, so with all that being done, we need to make sure that Jeremy doesn't get killed. Uh, we've not visited this. We're just going to go to that. Might as well. Might as well go to the Stables and we'll decide what to do with that next turn. But I think for now, this is probably fine. We can go for the Upgraded Homestead, which is very overdue. Resource silo could be pretty good too. Upgrading the dragon cliffs, we just need five ore and a bit of gold. Let's go for Grand Elves. Ok, 
Okay, so we should be safe for this turn. We're going to end the turn there. See what else happens. So Tan does decide to land. Green comes back. Purple also decides to land. So we still got a threat to deal with. These two can travel extremely far. So the first one to go is going to be Eravacious, although he is blocked in. So let's just go slightly further south. Okay, Eravacious goes through first. So this is Thorgrim, he's pretty weak. Don't care about these places. This place could be interesting, I'm pretty curious what's through there. But... I think we go straight towards green. As wow, okay. Sulfurous Lair. We got 229 spell points. I think we go for that. Sure. It's very doable. Start of the week, unfortunately, so it's going to take a while to actually kind of build it up. But, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so Galtharan needs some better units. Uh, I think if Jeremy goes north, he can probably escape. And he's got a few undead units to pass across. So that's probably fine. Coronius. Let's actually have a look who we can recruit. So there's Valeska and there's Corks, which are both just kind of basic level 1 heroes. Let's start off with our scouts. Just gonna go to this, I think. Just go to the base for now. Then Rion goes for this. And... Then we go for this. Start coming back east. Adela is going to go for this, and we're also going to claim this. 14 griffins. I think we leave those be. Oh wow, okay. I don't know how long that's been visible, I think it's only just become visible, but there is an inferno town just there. Which is a bit dangerous to go towards. Have to be a bit careful. I guess Adela can probably flee if she needs to. So we're going to try this. As, okay, there is a red hero there. So that's probably going to catch up to her. Alright, so Coronius next. We can go back to the base and then pass some units down. Or we can try and go down in this direction and start coming back. Is that worth doing? It depends. Do we care that much about 12 whites? And 33 walking dead? I think not really. Okay, so let's go back into the base. Let's pick up 41 wraiths. And let's pick up 82 skeletons. Then I think we don't spend the rest. So Coronius comes back down and passes his units across. Swap some spells around. Okay, so we take the skeletons, we take the wraiths, and I think we probably take this because there's no point having it in Galthran. Then we move towards this. Galthran has to make a bit of a choice about who to attack. So Galthran, so Galthran might have been a better choice to attack Green with because he's not really needed. Uh, actually, he's not really needed in a town. And I did want to get Eavacious through to this base to start giving him some more angels. So Upgraded Pool of Glory just needs more sulfur and a lot more gold. So I think gold income is really the key. So Galthran has 109 spell points. He does have Animate Dead. He could probably go through to this stuff. And there is some gold up for grabs. But a throng of Cyclops is not... Not going to be easy. I still feel like he could do it though. We have enough spell points for now. Let's just give it a go. If we can actually get there. Oh. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, I went through it too fast. There we go. Okay. So we land here, we've got lots of units. I didn't mean to take the Walking Dead, that was a mistake. I was meant to pass those across. Alright, let's go for this. So, victory is expected, but there are 183. So, heavy loss is expected. Five different stacks. Animate Dead, we can cast quite a few times. Death Ripple, 50 points of damage, not worth going for. I think we just have to throw ourselves in. Can we go for haste? Pretty basic haste. So haste is going to give us plus three speed. That's not going to be enough. 
That's not enough for any stack. Other choices, Bless of course doesn't work, Stone Skin's not going to make much difference, Frost Ring's not going to do much damage. Not really too many choices. I think we just keep our spell points in reserve. Yeah, let's go in. We do manage to age them, so that's great. These guys are going to wait, and these two. These will go for this. So they focus their attacks on the ghost dragons, they do manage to kill them off. Let's see how many we can actually bring back. Two. Okay, uh, this could be bad. I was hoping for a few more than that. Um, I need to be careful not to take unnecessary losses. So it's really all about the vampire lords. Vampire lords can attack these two. Then I think dread knights attack the middle stack, but it's going to be hard to keep them safe. These guys are 7 speed, these guys are 6 speed, so we can afford to go slightly further forward. Then these go further forward for sure. These go to here. And these things, I think, again, we go for animate dead. We could stay defensive instead of attacking, but we will do lots of damage if we go for this. Let's go for it. We'll send these two in. Hopefully they'll choose to attack those. These can go in for this block. I think that makes sense because we don't want them to start attacking our liches. We do do double damage. We do curse them. I think we took one loss. Yeah. Okay, so these guys are going to shuffle slightly closer. Skeletons I think I might not involve. These will go for this stack. Oh crap, okay. So we can friendly fire if we do that. That's... I thought we'd be immune to that. Okay, animate dead again. So we got four alive. I think we stay defensive. We've got nine hit points left on this. Stay defensive. These guys, 73 are left. We get them all back. 102 hit points on this. I think we get out of range. It's going to be all about the vampires. Such a good stack. Incredibly reliable. Go for these two next. Okay, so they've chosen to completely surround the vampires, which is the absolute best possible outcome. Curious 3 AI has really done me a big favor there. I only won back that time. Okay, I hope this is worth doing. We have kept the losses pretty low. So this time, because the vampires are on the outside of the outside of the attack, they are immune to it. And they're clearly not going to take any losses. Okay, so we keep skipping through the rest of these rounds. These guys can go for a hit and run, so let's go for that. And let's bring some more back. Then we go back. Let's go for this stack. You stay defensive. Okay, so that should be the end of that. So these cannot be animated any further, so we're going to bring one of these back. Go for this attack. And finish these off. Okay, so no losses, but no spell points left. We're going to go for Expert Navigation and Basic Logistics, Advanced Logistics. Expert Earth Magic is going to be good. Basic Armorer. Pretty sure, I thought he starts with Armorer, so perhaps that's just a change for this map. 41 Skeletons, lots of resources, lots of gold. And the monolith there, which takes us back to here, which is actually really good. I think it does. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's a really good thing to have unlocked. 
Let's keep him busy for now. We're going to go across to this. We're going to go for, I think... Upgraded Archer's Tower will be fine. Back to this thing. We can go for a fort at some point, but I'm not sure I necessarily want to. Although... It's very easy to do. Let's just do it, just in case. So, we know there is an Inferno base just here, which means we can actually potentially use this either to attack, or we might need to actually defend it. So, I think it is worth building that up. Warehouse of Gold we've not visited this week, so we're going to go back for that and start coming back up. And can potentially send out one more hero, but I think we're fine. Uh, I guess... Trading post? No, I think we stay put. Okay, let's end the turn there. Let's see what they do. So, red does come towards us, and I think can probably, in fact, almost certainly kill us, but choose not to so far. We can see a green hero just there. Let's see what's going on. So, this is Darjem, who's actually pretty strong. Much stronger than us on paper. But really bad stats. I feel like we can go for this because we can just resurrect anything we lose. So I think we definitely go for this first. So it's guarded by three Rust Dragons. There are There is potentially one loss expected to these, which I probably could have moved to be honest, just to save the... Save the trouble. Okay, so these guys are going to do lots of damage, I think. I think they won't take a loss. We'll see. Okay, no loss taken. Let's have a look. 46 hit points to go. Let's buff these up. Okay, zero kills if we go for this. Next round begins. One kill expected. Not necessarily sure we can prevent the loss. Not sure how the AI did that. Oh, they go for the Ballista. Okay. That's fine. So we're going to go for Resurrection because we can't get these back and they are quite useful as one stacks. 46 hit points to go. Should be fine. Kill them off. Okay, so Rust Dragons cost us 15,000 gold, 14 sulfur, which is the one thing we lack. So where could we get more sulfur? We could go up to this. Okay, that does take us up to 14. That's very lucky. Okay, so we buy a Rust Dragon, and we're going to throw ourselves into this fight. I think we should be completely fine. We could go for the town instead, but go for the hero first. Loss is expected. We still have 200 spell points, so I'm pretty sure we're fine. Much better stats, of course. So he has got tactics. Okay, that's fine. I think we just go up to this to make sure they can't go for the accurate shot. I wish I had Meteor Shower. That would be very good. Maybe could have also done something with Scholar to try and get myself Chain Lightning, but I think we go for slow. So we slow all these, we fly up to attack these. Then none of it can reach us. Okay, so we haste those. They go to attack these. They do poison us. Pretty sure these aren't immune to magic. I very rarely see them in maps, but pretty sure we can resurrect them if we need to. They're going to focus us down. They somehow do reach us with those. We still hang on. 167 hit points to go. Yeah, flies, breath attack, spits acid, no immunity to magic. Can go slightly forward with these if we want to. Should be fine. These will go for these. Okay, 92 hit points to go. Perhaps we just pull back for now to save ourselves the spell points. Okay, they kill off one of those, which is going to cost us spell points anyway, but never mind. These can reach us, these can reach us too. I think we stay aggressive. Okay, these move next. Let's stay focused on 
this area. Okay, kills those off. Gonna try and avoid losses to the angels. Okay, so unless we use a lot of resurrection, we are gonna take some permanent losses here. 83 hit points on these. Let's go for the attack on this. So the Rust Dragon is extremely tanky, but not actually particularly strong. But 377 hit points to go, that's probably okay for now. Go for these. And let's wait. Yeah, they're really going to try and focus these down. I'm going to try and get this to safety. Kill those off. Let's go for a resurrection, although we should probably slow the house bids again first. We'll go finish these off. Then next round begins. These guys can't reach the house bids. I think we move across. We'll probably... No, we won't... No, we shouldn't lose the ballista to this. This should be fine. Let's go across. Kill off the cannon. Okay, they do go for the ballista. Now that they've used their turn... We're going to go for Resurrection. Bring this back. These have no more spells to go for. Move these across. We're going to move these in because I think I might have taken a loss. So we can just bring that back. Okay, so next round begins. 97 hit points on these. We're going to wait. These guys have 66. So they come across, they go for our angels, that's probably fine. Let's go to the corner. Okay, so we lose our ballista to morale, that's probably fine. Uh, let's kill these off. Then we go defensive. This guy has no more spell points. So we're going to go for resurrection on these. We're gonna wait. Move these across. I think while he still has 143, he probably won't flee. So let's wait for now. Finally does run out of morale. Let's go for the attack. Take another loss. Okay, next round begins. These guys shouldn't take a loss at this point, but if we go for the attack, he's definitely going to flee. Have to decide what we're more willing to lose out of Nyx and Angels. I think the, the Angels are more of a long-term stack, so let's bring those back. Then I think we wait instead of attacking. Try and dissuade the flee, but pretty sure he will just run off. Yep. Uh, so we did lose one genie. Two necks, and the Ballista. We do level up. Okay. I'm not sure which direction the town's in. We don't have View Earth. We do have View Earth. Ah, that tells us nothing. Um, okay, let's keep looking. View Earth. That also tells us nothing. Uh, I think we need someone with better... better spell casting, I guess. So if we look slightly to the south, I am curious. So it's Alamar, and the town itself, pretty undefended, but we're not strong enough to take it. So we're gonna have to flee. Question is, do we flee into the boat, or do we flee into another town? Eovacious can't really move too much further. I think these paths probably do lead to towns. We're gonna go this way for now. Okay, Coronius will go to this. We can't afford to hire them just now, but that's fine. Uh, Galthran grabs the helm. And let's just try and take as many resources as we can. Uh, I thought that was the lizard dwelling for some reason. Probably could take it, but 
Let's not bother. 4,500 gold, that's great. Oop, didn't mean to go for that, but okay. Let's take the fight. Nine skeletons, and there is a sawmill there. If we go to the south, we've got the Tunic of the Cyclops King. Uh, there's a fortress town. And yeah, quite a few things up for grabs, so that's great. So I think Adela could probably go for that, and that would be quite useful. So if she gets into a boat, she can go there next round. It's probably far enough away as well. Then Jeremy is going to go back up to this town. Okay, so Coronius is going to stay put. We're going to go back to this town. We're going to go for the upgraded guardhouse, I guess. Although Citadel is more useful. Then we go across to this. We're going to go for probably just the barracks. Keep building those up. Back in this town, I think we're fine for now. I'm not really too bothered about what we do with Solmere. Uh, I guess we will send him out for some some buffs. There is purple, but I think purple shouldn't really attack us. They did steal our dwelling, which is really annoying, but... I don't think they'll go for it. I'll upgrade these just in case. So the green dragons are towards the bottom. So let's put the elves at the top. I think that should be fine. We should be stronger on paper. I don't really want to do any trading. We're going to go for this, and we're just going to come back. Okay, that seems fine. So red is not going to chase us down. It does break through just there. I'm not sure who this is, but they do land, so that's going to be a problem. Another red hero just there. And... That red hero takes the phoenixes, or the firebirds even. So they've got several, several really strong heroes. And then there's Tan too. Tan doesn't land, so I don't have to worry just yet. Purple chooses not to attack. Okay, so let's go to Evacious first. Let's just move across. So we see a sawmill. Okay, I think these paths just go in a loop. There's the town. So there are some defenders in there, but I think that should be fine. Let's go over to this. Grab the extra movement speed. And... We shouldn't need to pick up any more spell points. So a few losses expected. Towers, I should have just brought these stacks together, because that's just two annoying resurrections I should probably go for. Okay. We're going to throw these in. Should probably have waited first, but never mind. Then he's in two. Okay, so we do have Earthquake, which I actually will go for because... I want the chance to bring my genies back. It will help rectify the mistake I just made. Should have brought them together into one stack. Okay, so he's defend. Don't worry about taking losses to the angels, that's completely fine. One kill if we go for this. Kill those off, these guys defend again. Okay, so next round begins. They're gonna go for the Nyx. We do take a loss, that's really annoying. Uh, let's just go for the Earthquake. Then let's go for this. Okay, so HP situation, 306 to go, that seems fine. Keep killing those off. Go for Earthquake again. So 261 hit points to go, we should be fine for now. 
So the idea is we just leave the skeletons left and we try and get back as many units as possible. Uh, annoyingly that guy does survive. So we'll resurrect these first. Then I think we just move away. Okay, so tower goes for that, which is completely fine. We're going to move to the corner. There's no one here who can flee this time. Bring these back. Move these across. Skeletons are going to try and chase us down. Bring our units back. So they can now reach us. Bring these back too. Then we bring this back. Kill these off. No losses. 4000 XP. We do have enough movement points to keep going. In the town itself there are no units free to recruit. Uh, there's the grotto if we want to sacrifice creatures for experience. I think we avoid that. Uh, let's just go to the west. We should be fine. Keep exploring. So the magic well brings our spell points back, then there's the fountain of youth, there's a warehouse of gold. So I think Adela... Let's see who this is first. So it's Spint, who has crystal dragons, fairy dragons, some devils. He's pretty strong. He is their strongest. So purple chooses not to attack, I think we don't run them down, it's kind of hard to decide. Oh wow, okay. So Ingham's the strongest hero yet, and he's right in the middle of our lands. That's going to be a problem. Kind of hard to get back. Let's check this Mage Guild. So it's Mage Guild level 4, and it's Counter Strike and Fire Shield. That does not help us. We really need to get Eovacious back. I think we need to probably go for this spell scroll, because I think there's a good chance it's a movement spell. Extremely heavily defended. Yeah, there's not really too much we can do to stop this guy from landing. It's a bit of a risk. So we could go for summon boat and try and escape. There's blue there too, which is Adelaide. So she's carried on getting stronger. I'm amazed no one's taken her out. I think we're going to try and get Torastar to safety. Okay, not enough moving points to get in the boat. That could be a problem. Uh, if we look to the west here, there's Derek, who's not actually that strong. So we should be able to fight that off. If we compare these two, Cassiopeia has... She's okay. She's not great. Okay, I think we're going to try and defend from this. We're going to get the Citadel. By the archers, by these two. Is this going to be enough? I don't think so. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay, well, Galthran is going to, I think, stay fairly aggressive. Let's go straight towards the town. I think we can afford to take this, but let's not take any chances. Go for the town. This town does start off with the fort, which is great. Uh, in terms of gold piles, there's nothing we can pick up. So I think... We'll go for this. This is definitely going to be navigation. Should have really gone into the town. Okay. Might have to dismiss Rion. Okay, so what can we do? So this is blue. Blue portal, so that doesn't really help us. We could try and claim some stuff around here, which could be pretty good to do. But also scout to the southwest, which is probably more useful. If we were to land, I suspect we get attacked. There's a spell scroll there, which I think again, could be town portal or something like that. I'm going to try and land. We're going to try and scout this. Okay, so Jeremy is going to go into this base. We're going to tuck him in. Then we go across to this. We're going to pick up, I guess we'll go for corks. 
We're gonna send corks up just to pick some things up. So we're looking for gold piles. Basic mysticism will say no, there's a gold pile just there. Okay, so in terms of towns that are immediately threatened, this one of course is the obvious choice, but I really don't think there's much we can do. We'll get a spell book just in case. I guess what I could do is I could try and save the Ring of Infinite Gems. Or I could try and lure him away, but I doubt that will work. We'll still try it though. Okay, we'll grab the vampires, we'll start bringing those back. Then Solma has to decide whether to attack, and I think we have to decide whether to do some more trading and go for this. I think we don't for now. I'm pretty sure we can hold him off. Even if he comes to attack this. We've got some units in here. We should have enough. Yeah, I don't want to spend those resources. Do want to keep building this up, but I think this is pretty likely to be attacked. We'll go for something cheap. And in this town, I think we go Town Hall. Okay, we're going to end the turn, we're going to see what happens. So Red is stealing our stuff, but doesn't reach us just yet. Strongest hero does move off somewhere, Nimbus comes to attack us. So this is Blue's land, this is where they run off after we Stole their town. So he's not too strong. We actually have summon water elemental. That's interesting. I think we take her to Cove. What else could we do? We could summon water elementals, try and do a small amount of damage, and then go to Cove. That should be fine. Probably pointless. So we grab a few kills, we'll go for another stack. Okay, so goblins run off, we can just go down and safely attack these. Okay, that's about as much as we can do. Let's retreat. We do hang on to Adela, who is a pretty good hero. And Tan doesn't land there just yet. I think that was Tan's scout that went somewhere else. Green almost comes to attack our town. Didn't really think that through. Are they really strong enough? No. I guess they've lost their last town. Yeah, so Green's on the way out. Okay, so Eovacious, I definitely want to take the fight with the Green Dragons. I do want to go to this. Um, I'm pretty curious to scout this out, so let's go to... Which one's the tavern? This one. Bring Adela back. She's level 1, but she does actually have uh, really good skills. She has Water Elemental, of course, and has some pretty good spells. Okay, so we'll send her to this, and we're going to go scout to the north. I should probably take a few more units if I can. Don't really want to lose any of that stuff. I think we risk it. Okay, that's probably far enough. Try and play it a little bit safe because we have no chance of fleeing. Okay, so there's more we can open up, but I think we leave that stuff for we leave that stuff for Adela. And we just go take these on, because I think we really do need 
Town Portal, if this is Town Portal, I'm not really sure. Yeah, this is fine. So a loss is expected, that's kind of surprising. There are lots of them, but of course we can just go for Earth Elementals. So we can't slow them. We can go for a Resurrect at some point. I think we just go for Earth Elementals. Then we wait, and we're going to try and haste these if we can. Okay, we get Slayer, that could be good. Does not work out, so pretty sure we're about to lose our genies again. Just check this is safe. So if we go to here, pretty sure they can't breath attack us. I think. Okay, they do go for those, which is great. Hopefully all of them will. But I suspect they won't because of the risk of friendly fire, which they don't. Okay, so these stacks should probably focus on a smaller stack like this. Okay, so we kill those off. Next round begins. So we could go for mass shield, we could go for more earth elementals. Clone's another option, but we don't really have a power stack at this point. I think we go for more of these. As they can reach. Okay, we're gonna go for this stack at the bottom. Again, this position should be safe from the breath attack, and we're just going to buff these up a bit. They do get hasted. There we go for this attack. We get luck, and let's try and buff these up. So they get counter strike and shield, so if those got attacked, that'd be perfect. Ah, they do go for our genies. I kind of figured that would happen, but it's always annoying to resurrect, of course. Bad luck kicks in. Okay, we're going to send these down to attack these. And these will go for these. So, 210 hit points to go. I think we go defensive. Then these will get 3 kills if they attack. I think we go for these. Okay, so we're not quite out of range of the stack of 11, so let's try and beef these up. They're gonna go for the Rust Dragons, that's fine. That's not so fine. <laughs> okay, we're bringing those straight back. We're gonna try and resurrect as much as we can. So, resurrection, these guys have taken no losses. I think we wait till the end of the round. These go defensive. Okay, I was fearful those were the Counter Strike ones, but they're not. Okay, so we're gonna go for Resurrection on these. Then we can probably go for this but I'm going to go defensive. Move these in two. Next round begins. Let's resurrect these. Okay, so they can't reach our Master Genies, that's great. So all we need is for them to survive this round. And by them I mean the enemies. So enemies do survive the round. I think we can safely go for this attack. Then we don't go for this. Next round begins. We resurrect these. And again we're completely safe. So we pull to the corner. Then we defend. They're forced to attack and 
we kill them off. Okay, so that works out. The gold is a small pile. This is resurrection. That's not what we needed. That was not worth doing. A swarm of angels. I assume that's the same guard for this. Uh, we do get the vial of lifeblood, which means we will get the elixir of life. So that's pretty good. So this is Arlac, who is strong, but not as strong as their other hero. Other hero went in this direction. Went to the southeast just down there. So that's a real let off because that should have been a lot worse. Okay, 900 gold. This is a dead end. No, we can get through, okay. Four thousand five hundred and okay, there they are. Ingham could trap Galthran, and Galthran still needs still needs spell points back. We're gonna not move in that direction. We're gonna go towards the well, and could open this stuff up too. But I think we assume he does land. He can probably land to the east. I assume. So lots of sprites. No, we're going to go for this. We're going to focus on gold. So that's just a thousand. Hundred soldiers, crystals. Okay, Torasar next. Torasar definitely stays here for a turn. We can maybe go to this. Guess we might as well. Then Rion did survive. I think with this guy we just need... A castle. Could have hired Adela there, but no, I think it makes sense not to. Okay, I'm going to try and send Rion to the boat. Okay, so Voy is going to attack us, Darkstorn is probably going to attack us. Of these two defenders, we should of course go for Jeremy, he has much higher stats, he does still have the cannon. We need to upgrade his units. So, let's upgrade the graveyard, wouldn't normally go for that, but I think in this case, it does make sense. Is this enough? Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. This could be bad, but if we lose it, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so Karenius is just going to run in this direction. I don't think there's much else we can do. You go for this, I guess. Spread these units. Then Solmik could get this back. Could go for this attack, but it's over two turns away. Yeah, I think we want to go for this. So let's put the dragons in the center. And let's go for these two stacks. Okay, so there's no guard replenished. So in that case, we can go for Magic Spring. I think we do stay in this area because we do need a defender. He can come get the town back if he needs to. 7,000 left to spend. This town did not get attacked, so let's go for a castle. Then this town I think is pretty likely to be attacked, but a marketplace is a fairly safe buy. And yeah, let's end the turn there. So Red chooses not to attack, that's good. So Tan chooses not to land there, and does come back to this area. Not sure where they're going. Okay, they actually go back to where they already were. Um, more losses expected there than I thought. Don't think that should happen. 100 spell points though. So, spell options, Ice Bolt, 50 points of damage. I do want to kill them off as quick as possible, but it's a bit risky. So, she's got Ballistics. Okay, so kills those off with Ice Bolt. Yeah, we're going to have to probably go aggressive because the spells are more scary than the creatures. It's 
of course, is not helpful because we're bound to be attacked by Darkstorm next. Okay, so the vampires unfortunately can't quite reach. We know she's going to go for a spell. Ice Bolt's going to get five kills. Ah, there's nothing we can do. Okay. So we get pretty lucky. Let's just go for this. Okay, we take a loss. Thought we'd survive that, never mind. Those losses are about the same. Uh, but we do get a lot of artifacts, which might now be passed on to our opponent. Basic water magic could be good. I think expert archery, probably better. Purple does go for us. Okay, victory is expected. Maybe I should just accept that. But I want to see if I can do better. So, green dragons can't cross just yet. Let's go for these. This guy also has ballistics, also wipes out a gate straight away. Okay, we're gonna wait. Okay, miss our turn through morale. Okay, so they are going to come forward. These things, I think, stay more or less where they are. Okay, I spot those. These get morale. It's going to be hard to bring those back. Need to get wisdom. Okay, next round begins. Let's definitely focus on the dragons. Okay, dragons go for those. Stay focused on the Pegasi. Okay, they're gonna keep focusing down the vampires. That kind of sucks and they do get killed off. Please kill off our halberd deer. I think we just have to absorb the retail with this. We don't have to. Let me stay defensive. Then we go for this. Okay, so we can go for a spell. So Death Ripple could be an option at some point. It's going to be all down to The Walking Dead. Or zombies even. Counter Strike's extremely expensive. 40 spell points, not a lot to go off. Shield, 15% damage resistance. Might be the best thing we can do. Okay, dragons go down. Okay, they go for slow. They are going to try and focus down the zombies. They have, however, stopped dendroids coming through. Oh no, they haven't. Okay, that sucks. Alright, let's go for this attack. So 2 to 3 kills, 8 to 13, we're going to go for this for sure. Spellcasting is a bit of an unpredictable factor. Should have done that before, but never mind. No, we win this pretty handily. Yeah, so he's going to get, I think, one more spell cast, perhaps. 30 hit points on these, we should be fine. Yep, so he goes for that, but we do take a lot fewer losses than the AI, so that definitely works out. We'll go for advanced scouting, we'll go for basic wisdom, that would have been pretty useful. Okay, so back to Yvacious, we go for this, and that should give us the Elixir of Life. Which does mean we don't get as many movement points from the Equestrian's Gloves, and I don't think I can be bothered to worry about that too much. Uh, a Swarm of Angels there I don't think we'll bother with, I think we go for Water Walk. I think we just go aggressive. Let's 
So, there's Adelaide. We can probably take her on. However, I think we have done enough for this part, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. We will be finally going for Adelaide and her gold dragons, which have not got too much scarier than they were. I think we have made some good progress, but I think there are still some pretty massive threats walking around. So still a lot more to do. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.